Hi, this is Ahmed again from Avantgarde Software and today I would like to show you how to install the Dockerware validation template which I made for make.com so you can use it in your system as well. Okay, and let's start with the Dockerware configuration site because first of all I have to create a new file cabinet but you can use it um, also with your existing file cabinets but then in this case um, you have to adapt some, some fields in the make template but I will show this later on. So let's just simply go ahead and create a new file cabinet. And what's important here is just to keep the um, index fields as they are, because the make template is just optimized for uh, the default Dockerware field names. So now that we have created our new validation file cabinet, we can just switch over to make. And I just opened up the validation template here. I click on this button and create a new webhook and just save this. I have to copy the address to the clipboard and I can just click on continue and you will see that it's pretty easy to set this up because everything is already pre-configured for, uh, for you. So what's important now here is that we have to specify the field names, okay? Not the display names or the caption fields or the descriptions of the um, of the store dialog. Instead, we really use the we really have to use the file cabinet field names in here. And as I mentioned before, they are optimized for uh, the default uh, for the default file names or field names. And you can see we have date, company, document number, project, and so on and so forth. So I will just click simply here on continue. And now you see on step three, we have to um, configure what, um, what, what we are searching for actually. So this is for the check of that quotes must have a project name field. And therefore in this step, uh, we just simply check if the document type is a quote. And if the project does exist, because if not, then we will just simply um, throw an error like you see here. And don't wonder about this one. Um, this is really the just the message who will return from make to, to the Docker platform. And you can, of course, also customize the error messages in here, just as you want. But for doing this, I can just uh, proceed and click on con continue. And now I have to, I have to check, um, I have the same check also for invoices. And you see that now I'm checking the document types um, for invoice. And please also note that, that, this is, that this check is case insensitive, so you can use use it also in, so you can also write it in lowercase like we have here. And now in step six, we are in, in this thing here. So um, in this check here, and within this check in step six, we are just actually um, checking or validating if, um, if documents from the type of invoice really have all the, um, all the mandatory fields fulfilled. Like if an invoice has a date, an amount field filled, a company, um, a document number, so that's why I can just leave this as it is. And here I can now specify what my message should be, what my return message or my error message should be if the um, values are not provided. So I just click on continue. And also a further check if the due date, if there is a due date, um, is, in future, is in the future. Because if not, um, we really have to throw an error here. And now you see that my last check is also that it's checking for um, values coming from DocuWare uh, from the store dialog because the validation, which is implemented in the, the actual validation service, which is, val which is implemented in, in, in the DocuWare site, um, can also be used while um, updating the index entries. But for our case, we really want just to apply the validation for newly stored documents. Okay. And I click on continue. And now I have to specify my... Um, Docker system, which I have already prepared, and I this one this check here is actually for for the duplicate check. So I just say that I want to check the validation file cabinet for searching for duplicates. You can of course specify whatever you want. So we have to specify a default search dialog, and the uh, um, the best thing here is that I also have pre-configured actually all the mappings, so it's already done for you. So we're just looking up for documents with the same document type and um, we are also looking for the same company and date in order to prove that such an invoice already exists in the system. Okay, and I can just go ahead and click on continue here. And as you may remember, we have our make.com um, address already in the clipboard. So that's why I just go back to 
DocuWare. And now on the um, web services, in order to register our newly created validation web service. So let's say validation web service. And just paste in the address we already have. Click on save. And what we have forgotten here is that we have to continue. And this is the message for the success case so that there are no errors because I forgot to activate this, um, to activate this uh, make template. So now it's ready to go, it's active. And as I have saved here, I can also test the connection and you see that the web service is available. And as a last step, I need to match this file cabinet or this, uh, this validation service with the file cabinet. And therefore I'm going into this validation file ca cabinet which I've created and go to the store dialogs because in this I want to use the validation web service. And therefore I just go down to the more options and you see here I just need to specify the validation web service. You can also check if it's really working. Yes it is. Click on OK. Click on save and now we are ready to go. The make validation template is so to say installed in our system or enrolled in our Docker system. And um, to prove that everything is working as as we have expected it, as we are expecting it. Sorry for the bad English. Um, let's just take this invoice here and let's store this to the system. And what I would like to do is I don't want to delete this from the system, and you see it's already pre-filled. Um, so we have the invoice, we have the company fill, filled, and all the necessary informations are filled. Okay, so let's just click on store, and you see that because there um, all the mandatory index fields are filled in correctly, everything's okay. But what happens if I now want to try to store this invoice again? So you will now see that there is a check in the system because it's validating the index entries and you see that the document already exists and this is actually the the best use case actually in, in, in my opinion or in my eyes um, so it's not allowed for me to enter a duplicate so that I don't mess up my docker system with documents that are duplicates right and so I just go back and click here on cancel and what I would like to also show you now is that um, if I store this for example this quote and let the project number be missing and if I click here on store you see that the validation failed also this time but um, it's telling me that quotes, quotes must have project field uh, field filled okay and this is this is also what I really like on this validation template because you can um, really so to say specify um, dynamically or mandatory dynamic uh, index fields and if I now um, select this project field here and click on store you will see that it's working as expected right so that's it actually for the installation so you you just saw that it's pretty easy to set this up um won't take you longer than five minutes and the only thing what uh, should be uh what you should be um thinking of is that you need to specify your index fields sorry your um, field names correctly like document type here if you want to ask or if you're asking where to find this just go to database fields and click on document type it's not this name here this is the important part it's instead the database column field okay this one is the uh, the important for for the checks all right that's it um, many thanks for watching and uh, have a nice one see you bye bye